Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. Today I want to show you how to look at which application has access to your eBay account and can do things on your behalf. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your My eBay. Once you're there, you're going to want to go to Account and uh, Site Preferences. Once you're in Site Preferences, you're going to want to go down to third-party authorization. Those are application or third parties that have, act, just like it says, that are authorized to act on your behalf on eBay. This means that those application or third parties can revise, list item for you, terminate your item, do all kind of, do pretty much everything that you would do on eBay on your behalf. Now that's going to be a little scary to some of you. So I want to reassure you that anybody that creates application for eBay has a very, very rigorous um, application process where everybody is vetted and verified by eBay um, with some standards where we're not able to, to do anything that we want and we could lose our license as developer if we were to do it. So your information is very secure. One of the reasons um, eBay created those third-party authorization was to authorize some third-party um, software like Shiprush or Outright to have access to your account without having access to your username and password. Uh, those are what we call tokens. And those tokens let us access on your behalf your eBay account or uh, programmatically some functions on the back without having access to your selling manager, without seeing you know all of this, uh, yet having access on the back. So it's good once in a while to come here and to look at what has access to your account. Uh, for example, I know what eBay uh, Motors people pick, duplicate auction listing information, I'm, I don't know if I need that eBay bulk, Moon River Association LTD. I'm not sure what this is. And, you know, if you don't know what it is, then you probably don't need it. What the worst that can happen is if I revoke this authorization here, something is going to break, and therefore I will know about it, and then I will know what this is. So I'm not advising you to remove every single one of them uh, where you don't know what it is. But if one day you have a problem where strange things are happening, some banners are starting to show in your listing and you don't know why, that is the first place where you want to look because by revoking this authorization here, if I click apply here, I revoked access to this application to do anything on my behalf. They're gone. They can't do anything anymore. Therefore, they can't add banners. They, to my listing. They can't remove banners either, um, but in some cases it's really practical. Now, if you remove the Kiwi apps, for example, authorization, then key to do or key tracking is not going to be working anymore for you. But this is important to know what has access to your eBay account. Now, again, uh, you know, don't be worried. Everybody that has access to those token to even request it is thoroughly verified by eBay and we have some very very strict standard as to what we can access, what we can do, we need authorization to do it, uh, we're being verified by eBay all the time so do not be worried about it. But it's something that I wanted to show you so you would be aware of it. The exact same way, if you go to PayPal, and I already logged into PayPal, and you go to your profiles, you can then click on My Money here, and you will see here those pre-approved payments. This is the exact same thing, but on the PayPal side. Those are payments that are authorized um, to your account. So, for example, Kiwi LLC, which is the Kiwi app, was authorized for test membership um, from April April 12 to April 9, 2013, and it has been canceled. So they do not have access to um, to do anything anymore. But if I go to the active 
ones, I can see that, for example, eBay has access for the seller fees. They have access for the postage label, which means they can take some money out of my account without me having to reauthorize them. And if you remember, if you've ever done some eBay label postage, the first time you do it, it asks you to log into PayPal and to give them authorization to take the fees. Well, that's pretty much it. This is what you're seeing here. Now, again, just like on the eBay side, it's interesting to come here and see what you might have that you're not aware of. Uh, there's nothing here that I'm not aware of, but if I look at my um, canceled one, for example, to give you some some example, you can see that, for example, at one point I authorized Disney Club Penguin, that was for my son, he plays Club Penguin, uh, I authorized them recurring payment of $39.95, and if I click on it, I think it was an annual membership or a six months six month membership, but this is an automatic recurring billing. Let's say my kid doesn't play Club Penguin anymore, and I don't know how to to cancel their access to my account, and they just keep taking money every single month out of it. Well, you can go come here, and I'm going to show you with an active one. You could go, you know, to you click on it, and you just cancel their access. And exactly as it would revoke the token on uh, the eBay side, this is going to revoke their access and they will not be able to take your money anymore. If you don't do that, you could have some game that you forgot that's taking money every single month out of your account without you knowing. So the important ones are going to be active. Every single one that were canceled are not going to show anymore. So it's important once in a while to go to your active uh, status and see what you have there. You know, see if you have, for example, one of your kids that signed up for Netflix and you have Netflix picking up your money every single month without you even knowing about it. So I hope this is going to help some of you to be a little bit more secure. Uh, feel free to ask us any questions, comments below, uh, subscribe to our channel, and feel free to like. Thank you.